Life are in listen only mode. Good morning, everyone. This is Mark Raymakers here with Insurance Agency Marketing. We have as our co presenter today John Enting. And uh, John brought to us this product a few years ago and continued to see tremendous success with this. I know John's business continues to skyrocket. He's one of their top producers for NGL. He is an independent agent, so he obviously can write for whoever he chooses. And the fortunate thing is, is he likes this product and has really helped us to grow it. So today, John will be really uh, doing most of the talking this morning, uh, introducing the product. And so, John, I, I know that you're a producer. You take time out of the field to help us with this, and we certainly do appreciate that. Yes, sir. And so this is a recorded webinar. If you would like the recording of this webinar, please call us and we'll get this over to you here today. And then, of course, we do have another one, John. I think that is, is that Monday we're having one on the sales? Of it? That's the 18th, I think it is, isn't it? I think it is. I'm not in front of my calendar right now, but I believe yeah. you're correct. Yeah, so July 18th, we're actually going to have another webinar as a follow-up to this. This is going to be on the sales and the presentation of this product. So if this is something you think will fit in your portfolio, it would be a good complement to what you're doing, I would strongly encourage you to attend this next one that we have on the 18th where you'll see how John presents it, how he closes so many deals. And I can tell you that from our statistics that the advisors that attend this next one, this is where the business really starts getting good because they get some great ideas and they start selling. So this obviously this morning is an intro. We'll get you appointed. And then by this next webinar, of course, you have to be appointed to attend the next one. Uh, then you'll see the, uh, how John does it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get going on this here. Um, few things I'm just going to tell you a little bit about IMS, what we can do to help you and how we can complement your business. First off, you'll notice that we've got an all a two day training academy and we're real big on training. Uh, obviously, hence the reason for having so many webinars during the week. And so let me see if I can get this poll launched for us here this morning. Basically, what we've got coming up is a life and annuity training academy. This is a great opportunity for you to grow your annuity business, to grow your life business. And real simple here, if you are interested in knowing more or potentially attending one of these events, now we've got one that's coming up here the end of July, you'd have to be appointed with a theme with us to attend this event. Uh, but if you can't make this one here that's coming up, we do have another one. We're looking at scheduled. I believe it's the second week of September. And that potentially could be our last one for the year. So here's what we do. We fly you in, so we pay for your airfare, we pay for your meals, and we pay for your lodging, but we bring you in on a Wednesday. We do uh, a few short presentations Wednesday evening. Uh, obviously, we have beverages and, and, and um, a quick little meal for you there that evening. Uh, but then all-day training on Thursday, half-a-day training on Friday. So we have presenters coming in from across the country. John is one, for example, but we have other top producers that come in and show you their process of whether it's uh, through seminars or sales ideas or sales concepts. The thing is, is you're going to have some of the top producers in the country that are going to show you some great sales ideas. We do talk about product, but this is not a product training event. This is more about concepts. This is about growing your life business and your annuity business. So if you were interested in any way, I need you to mark yes on this poll so that we can then get you an invitation. We'll get you an application and we'll keep you abreast of the, the, the dates, obviously. But right now we have at least one more scheduled for the year, potentially two. So, you know, obviously if you're not getting training where you're at today, if you're not spending some time training, and I think this is important, and I'm sure John would agree, you have to constantly be investing in your business. And one of those things would be through training. We're paying for it. We're paying to help you grow your business. And so if you're not taking advantage of these opportunities, it's, you know, quite unfortunate because I think we've got to constantly be up to date with what's going on in the industry and learn new concepts. Unless you're making more money than you want to be making, then... <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, it's a good opportunity for you to grow your business. So I'm going to close the poll out here in just a second. Need to let a few of you uh, finish up here because I see that we're getting some numbers that are growing on the screen here as far as interested parties. So 
Um, John, I don't know if you want to throw in your two cents on the training academy. I know that you've been doing these with us here for quite some time now. Yeah, absolutely. And if if you remember at one time uh, years and years ago, I was a, a new producer with uh, IMS and actually uh, attended uh, the academy. And you get a big different perspective on all the products and programs. You get to know the team at IMS, which uh, I think is a value in itself. But uh, just the knowledge, and then also, you know, this business. Uh, we, we're most of us are out there alone uh, in the field, and this really uh, brings that camaraderie and sharing ideas. Not only you get from the training, but also with your peers that have came in for the training. So I think it's a valuable, uh, very valuable resource. And the fact that IMS takes care of all the expenses, I think, is a wonderful thing. Great point, Chad. Yeah, appreciate that. That's one thing I didn't mention is the fact that there's a lot of the a lot of opportunities to spend some one-on-one -on -one time talking with other advisors to find out what they're doing to be so successful. So that's that's worth the price right there, I think. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and close the pull down. If you change your mind, you want to know more, just call us. Call the 800 number there, the 800-255-5055 number. Okay, let's move on to the next thing here. We have a new producer bonus. So let's say you um, <clears throat> decide to go ahead and get appointed with us, which we'd certainly love the opportunity to earn your business. But if you get appointed and you're right, let's say, for example, it's $100,000 in the NGL Trust products, that would earn you either $750 in cash or a two-year subscription to the website newsletter service or a free iPad. Now, the iPads, I personally really like those. And I think as we talk with more and more advisors, more and more companies are adding an iPad app. So the nice thing is, is you don't have to worry about carrying forms with you. You can actually complete a lot of these applications on an iPad. So that's really a nice little compliment to our business today. So those are some things you can get if you hit the first level. Now that 100,000 also applies to annuity dollars. So it's dollar for dollar with annuities, dollar for dollar with single premium, any portion or fraction of that for traditional life. The next level is 300,000. You can get the full social security program and 3,000 piece postcard mailing or 2,000 matching marketing money to promote your business, or you can get the gift card. So any one of those, if you get to the next level. And if you, obviously, if you claim one level, you can't reclaim again in the future. You might continue to let your points accumulate to get to half a million dollar level. You could choose 5,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with Matt Gill, or 4,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with Dave Pimper. I will tell you, I let the cat out of the bag. These two gentlemen actually come to the academy uh, that we have, the Life Annuity Academy, and they show you their presentation. These two are very, very good at what they do. They qualify for all of our trips. In fact, I think Matt, for example, I think qualifies for four or five different trips a year based on his seminar program. So he does a very good job. Uh, Dave Pimper as well, both very qualified in, in seminars. So that's certainly worth shooting for. The last option would be the Ritz-Carlton Travel Rewards. You could just set up your own personal getaway. Okay, and then one more thing here. I don't know if you have done anything to brand your business, if you're doing anything really to market your business, but Matt Neal in our office has put together a great program here to help you in that respect. So anywhere from basic marketing all the way to television ads, uh, Matt and his team can help set this up for you. So if you'd like to know more about that, you can certainly call our number here and ask for Matt Neal. Tell him what you're looking to do, and he can certainly share some great ideas and some tremendous success stories. And we've this department has done such a tremendous job for so many advisors out there. So if you're not taking advantage of something like that, I would certainly encourage you to do that and call and ask for Matt Neal. All right. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this over to John. And um, so, John, I'll, I'm done. <laughs> All right, Mark. All right. Nice job. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for the introduction. I certainly appreciate that. And before I get started, you know, as Mark had mentioned, um, one of the nice things about uh, what I do in my business is I'm out there doing this every day. So I'm sure I run an operation like many of you. I'm, I'm uh, marketing. I'm meeting with people in retirement or nearing retirement and, and help them getting their uh, plan set to make sure that they have a secure retirement. So I'm not doing anything different than you. Uh, but this NGL Funeral Trust uh, product, it is an unlimited opportunity for both new and existing clients. And I'll go ahead and share with you what we're going to cover today. Uh, today we're going to talk about the op opportunity that exists with this product. Uh, we'll talk about the trusts that are used to protect the money 
that goes into this product. We'll talk about the product itself and, and what it actually is and how we fund it. I'll share with you some presentation ideas and tools. I'll kind of give you an idea of what we'll dig into deeper in the training session uh, that we have coming up here later in the month. And then we'll talk about the company itself, uh, National Guardian Life. But first, I always like to talk about the opportunity because um, an opportunity is only that if you don't act on it. And, and so what happened with me is about, uh, I'm going to say about 11 or 12 years ago now, uh, I have a very good friend of mine uh, who came to me with this product. And I didn't understand it at first. I didn't know what a funeral trust was. Uh, it was new to me. But as I dug more into it, I understood that the clients that I was meeting with, um, that this could be a valuable tool for them. And so I started learning about the product. I implemented it into my business. And again, we've been doing business with National Guardian Life for 11 or 12 years now. So we've had clients that not have only purchased the product, but we've also had clients who have passed away. And I've seen the ease and, and the, the burden that it lifts off of their family. Uh, in order to take care of their final expenses. And the thing is, uh, like the slides you're seeing the, on here, uh, you know, most significant events require planning. That's what we do for a living. We meet with clients, we ask them questions, we figure out where those questions take us, and then we put a plan in place, and then we show them how to save for that particular plan. And funeral and final expenses aren't any different. Uh, what's going to happen is somebody's going to need to determine the services and pay the bill. Uh, but the question becomes who is going to do that and when are they going to do it? Is it going to be the deceased getting their affairs in order prior to their death? Um, or is it going to be the survivors afterwards? Just a little background on me. I'm the youngest of five children. Uh, my mom and dad divorced when I was two years old. Um, I knew my dad. I wasn't super close with my father. We certainly didn't have any in-depth conversations about what would happen when he would pass away. Uh, but my dad passed away on January 21st of 2011, and I found myself sitting in a funeral director's room, and I was getting asked questions from the funeral director like, what is your dad's mother's maiden name? What was his highest rank in the Navy? Uh, down to what was his favorite flowers and his favorite hymn? And I, I didn't know the answers to these questions. And it was at that point, I re always realized the value of what I was doing for my clients, but it really hit home. And so what happens with National Guardian Life is there's a couple different choices. There's two channels uh, to use their product. The first one would be to plan and pay for the funeral. That would be the, the pre-need side or what you see funeral homes offer. Uh, you see them wanting people to come in and prepay for their funeral expenses. And then the other side of the fence would be where the majority of us are going to lie, and that's going to be the final expense side where they're going to pay for the anticipated expenses and that's what we're going to be able to provide to them through the National Guardian Life product. So um, the next slide to me is interesting. It's how much does a funeral cost? I just had a client that came in my office yesterday. Uh, she wrote a check for $15,000 to National Guardian Life. Her mom passed away, oh, it's been about two months ago now. And uh, she, I asked her, I said, hey, what was the funeral cost? And she told me it was around $14,000. So I think when we look at this 9500 I think that's a, a low number. Um, but one thing you have to do is you have to ask your clients questions. And one of the questions would be, you know, if something happened to you yesterday, how would your funeral be paid for? And then the important thing at that point is to listen to that answer because you're going to hear a variety of answers, which I'll cover some of those a little bit later on here. Um, but it's important to listen so that you know which direction to pivot with this particular product. So what is the opportunity for you as an advisor? In a national survey, 72% thought it was a good idea to pre-plan their funeral but 64% had not taken the steps to do so. And that's where you come in. Your clients aren't any different. You're working with the same people that I'm working with. And as a matter of fact, I'll tell my clients that, you know, we may be doing an annuity and doing some income planning. And I'll tell them you may or may not need the income during your lifetime. But one thing we know for sure is that everybody's going to pass away at some point. And it's just as important to have that plan in place as well. 
So we all know how big this market is. It's an exciting time to be in this business. Uh, if you look at the number of people retiring every day in this country, and then you look at what's going to happen over the next 20 years, um, we're in a great position to be able to take this program and really do good for the client, but also impact your practice on a financial basis as well. Now here's where the National Guardian Life gets really interesting, um, and I talk to my clients about this. You know, 43% of all Americans older than 65 are going to need some kind of nursing care, uh, and that, that national average is over $70,000 a year. Uh, but the problem is 92% of all the people don't have any coverage, and many people who need long-term care are going to need to qualify for Medicaid. And that's an important conversation to have with your clients when you're pivoting into this National Guardian Life conversation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, today I'm going to show you how all that fits together. Um, we're going to talk about the National Guardian Life Insurance products and the Funeral Trust. Again, it's going to give that protection of life insurance with the advantage of an irrevocable trust. It's going to let the, your clients plan ahead by putting the assets aside, not worrying about it anymore. And then by using that trust to hold the funds for the expenses, we're effectively spending down their assets, which can help prevent that money to be counted uh, during the Medicaid consideration process. So first of all, the trust, we'll talk about them a little bit. Um, National Guardian Life's an irrevocable trust when you use them. You're going to get protection from creditors. Uh, the benefits are income tax free that pay out at death. The funds are available immediately. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, later on in the conversation. Here's the important thing. The trust is free. It's already a trust that's set up by National Guardian Life. Uh, you don't have to do anything. The client doesn't have to do anything but sign a form. And that word free there on trust is important because if you would have an attorney do a trust, we all know that that can get quite expensive. Um, everybody's going to qualify for the trust assignment. And then the death proceeds can be used for funeral expenses. And again, they're going to avoid the probate costs and delays. And the important thing here, too, with this program is the funds are totally portable. I have a lot of clients. I've been doing this for 30 years. Uh, started selling annuities in 1993, and I have a lot of clients who have actually moved. Um, I have some that have bought the National Guardian Life Funeral Trust, and they've moved out of state, and it's portable. It can be used with any funeral home where if you prepay, I'm just going to use uh, Columbus, Ohio here where I'm at, if you go down and, and prepay at a, a, one of our funeral homes and then you move out of state, you know, that could cause a problem if, if you've decided that, you know, that's where you want to be buried is, is where your current residence is. So anyway, it's a totally portable uh, and a really nice uh, product for your client. Now, how does the trust compare to regular um, assets that are typically used to pay for a funeral? Um, I'm not going to read through the charts there, but you can look and see that um, every answer under the irrevocable funeral trust is going to have uh, a yes on it. So everything we're looking to do, protect from probate, protect from lawsuits, from creditors, income taxes, Medicaid spend down, um, all that is going to work with the Irrevocable Funeral Trust. Now, how does it work? Um, it's really pretty simple if you break it down. So what our job to do is find out um, how they're going to pay for that final expense and where the money's going to come from. And then what we do is we actually buy a final expense plan for them. So I'll give you an example of the client that came in my office yesterday. Uh, she wanted to put $15,000 into the funeral trust. So what we did is we bought, we took the $15,000 and we effectively bought a life insurance policy for her. We took that life insurance policy once it's issued and we assign it to the irrevocable funeral trust. Now what that does is that protects that money at that point. It is immediately excluded from a Medicaid spend down situation. And I'll t we'll talk about why that's important as we move through the slides. Um, what's nice about it is, and we've seen this with our clients that have passed away, 
National Guardian Life pays that funeral home within 48 hours. So um, with our clients, they walk in with their planning guide and their, and their policy. Um, typically, they're going to call our office. We're going to get a fax over, uh, a fax number for the funeral home. We're going to let NGL know we have a claim. And then NGL from that point takes uh, hold of it. And within 48 hours, the funeral provider uh, has their funds uh, in hand. Now, if there's any money left over, that excess money will go to the estate. Uh, the reason for that is uh, when that money's protected immediately, um, it can't be paid back to a beneficiary or it can come back and be included in the estate. So there's two different trusts um, with National Guardian Life. There's a funeral expense trust. Um, it has a $15,000 maximum face amount that you can put in there. So for the client that came in yesterday, she had to write a check. It was $14,850. It got her a $15,000 death benefit immediately. Um, it has the ability to exclude it from the Medicaid spend down. And then the trust will pay the funeral cost. And again, any excess funds are going to go to the estate of the insured. Now, National Guardian Life also has an estate planning trust. Um, you can put $100,000 per client into this estate planning trust, and it has the ability to exclude the assets, but it's a five-year period. So once that money's been in there for five years, it's 100% protected from any type of a, a nursing home situation or, or if you're trying to go on Medicaid, and it's, it's an excluded asset. And then again, if you just had the estate planning trust, they would pay the funeral expenses first, and then any excess funds are returned to the beneficiary or the insured's estate. Uh, typically, you want a beneficiary on there. That's the whole purpose of using this trust. But here's what's amazing with National Guardian Life. They not only pay that funeral home in 48 hours, but let's say we had 100,000 in there and the funeral was 15 grand, that 85,000 is paid within 48 hours to the beneficiary as well. So very, very um, uh, compact process that they've got down to a science. So I get a lot of questions from advisors. Um, you know, when do I use which trust? Well, I will tell you this, with the funeral expense trust, it's really good for crisis planning. So if you have a client that their mom or dad is in the nursing home and they haven't pre-planned their funeral, you can write it on the person in the funeral in the um, uh, nursing home and the kids can sign the application for them. Um, or maybe you have a situation where you're looking at somebody, I'm dealing with one right now, uh, mom is in assisted living. We know for sure that with the asset base she has, within five years, she's going to need to apply for Medicaid. They're going to be out of money. So we're taking that 15000 and we're at least getting that excluded immediately for them. Or maybe like my client that came in yesterday, she just wants to know that her funeral expenses are taken care of and she wants to know that that money's so that's a really good tool for that. Again, the limitations are up to $15,000 that you can put in, and that is according to each state, and a little bit later we'll show you a chart on what your state might look like. Uh, now on the estate planning trust, with this one, I did this on a couple teachers here in Ohio. We put $100,000 each uh, into the plan for them. Medicaid was a non-issue. They're healthy. They're 65 years old. They just retired. Um, they they just they're not they told me they're never going to buy long term care insurance and they wanted to know that at least two hundred thousand dollars of their estate was protected and was going to go to their kids even if they spent everything else for care so we were looking to easily transfer that a limited amount of wealth to the children and that's the real opportunity if you can sell a couple of these estate planning trusts, you got to remember they're irrevocable and that's very important. I tell my clients when I do either one of these trusts, don't call me and ask for a loan. Don't call me and tell me you want to cash it in. It is irrevocable and it is not going to pay out until you pass away. So we'll talk a little bit about the product itself. Um, really, the NGL Asset Guard is uh, simply a, a life insurance policy. 
Um, you're going to get a little bit of a bump up. Like I told you, the client yesterday wrote a check for fourteen eight fifty. It gave her a fifteen thousand uh, dollar death benefit. Um, now that death benefit does increase. Um, we, you can choose the interest rate that you offer your client from anywhere from 0.25 percent to 2.25 percent. Um, but we at our company, we give everybody 2% across the board. Um, we think that's fair. Uh, and that 2% is going to grow tax free inside of there. So, like with the clients that put the 100,000 each, they're 65. If they live 20 years, when that money pays out to the family, it will pay out 100% tax free. Now, let's talk a little bit about the individual state limits, and we'll put this screen up here next. I'm in Ohio, um, so you know we can put up to $15,000. There are other states that have a lower limit. This is for the funeral trust only. Uh, when you're talking about the estate planning trust, you can still put up to $100,000 in it. So if you're in a state where your limit is low or you you know, maybe uh, you can't sell that product like Florida, I know, can't sell the funeral trust. You can still use the estate planning trust to fund that funeral. Uh, it'll still work the same way. It just won't be excluded totally uh, for a five-year period. I would always encourage you to reach out to National Guardian Life or to IMES. Um, to find out what the current limits are in your state. I do know that in Pennsylvania, it's actually by county. So if you're in PA, you're going to want to find out, you know, what that county's limit is. Something I want to interject real quick, John, too, is, you know, we've had some advisors in Michigan that wanted to make the product available. So, for example, in Michigan, the funeral trust is not available there, but you could put $100,000 in the estate planning trust. So you've got that going for you there. So... FYI. That's correct. And Mark, I always like to point out to people, 100000 is the max. So if you're just doing it for simple funeral planning um, and they just want to put 15000 in it, that's okay too. It's going to work the same way. And the advantage with the estate planning trust is you can actually name a beneficiary for the excess proceeds. So uh, we, we can go on to buy, buy this slide here, Mark. Um, now here's the expenses that are paid for and covered um, by the uh, Irrevocable Funeral Trust. Um, so you can see in there that uh, just about everything that uh, you might need at a funeral is certainly going to be covered. Even the transfer of the deceased. So the reason that's important, I use for example that client of mine that I told you moved to Florida. Say they wanted to come back to Ohio to be buried. Well. Transferring a body from one state to another can be an expensive ordeal. Um, they could actually use funds from this to cover the transfer of the deceased. So for today's conversation, and it's and because it's mostly what we do at our company, I'm going to talk about just the single pay plan. Now on the single pay plan, um, the minimum face amount is $500. So you know, if you get somebody that says, well, I just want to be cremated and I only need $1,500, well, that's fine. We can go $500 to $100,000. Again, the growth rates are going to be from a quarter of a percent up to two and a quarter percent. Uh, and there's only one health question on the application. And there is no denials on the application. So even if they don't answer the health question um, no, uh, they're still going to get approved for the contract it'll still be issued for them. So on the single pay, you can write it on anybody from zero to 99 years old. Um, I get to see the, the contract or the applications that are sent through and get issued um, through all the advisors we have across the country using this program. Um, and I've seen people issue, you know, I've seen applications come in on people that were 93, 94 years old. Um, so again, it gives you a wide variety. Um, just a little tidbit here to you. It, a lot of you may have clients who have money that they're just not going to use. They know they're going to pass it on to the next generation. It's not a bad idea to talk to them about making sure that their kids or even their grandkids have a plan in place to take care of their final expenses. Um, and of course, as you get in those lower age ranges, your commissions are going to get higher as well. 
So the asset guard, um, again, there's one question. If they answer no, it's a standard issue. If they issue, it, answer yes, it's a guaranteed issue where you're going to see the differences in your commission structure. So what's going to happen is these policies are going to increase daily with simple growth. With simple growth. Um, all single pay is immediate full death benefit. So example, the lady I wrote yesterday, she gave me 14850 she dies in a month, or that 15000 is still going to be paid um, to the funeral home. So we like that because we that's what we're doing this for, is to make sure that money is there in the event that it's needed um, uh, for a death. So we'll talk a little bit about the other product features. I call this a bell and a whistle, um, but it can be added to the contract. It's a child, grandchild rider. So I'm just going to say you sold somebody a $3,000 plan um, for a $10 one-time fee. Um, they can get all their children and grandchildren uh, covered from six months to 18 years old as long as they're living with their parent or guardian and as long as the insured that you wrote is living and the policy is in force. So example, you write somebody, they've got six grandchildren, uh, one of the grandchildren passes away, the company's going to pay $3,000 death benefit for that grandchild, and then the rider is over. So any death by any one of the six, then the rider's over, it'll pay one time. It can only be done at the uh, application time and only on the single pay. Now, many of you out there, um, you may be in the annuity side of the business, um, like many advisors I meet are, uh, and we know how the paperwork has become in the annuity business. Uh, when I started writing annuities in 1993, it was literally three pages, and one of those was a receipt. Uh, but unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it today, we're talking about some applications that are 30 pages long. Um, with this application, Two pieces of paper and your, your state replacement form, um, and you're done with the application. It's that easy of a process. So if you don't like a lot of paperwork, you're going to love this particular program. This is what the first page of the application looks like. You're going to get their basic information, you're going to figure out what premium they're giving you, what face amount of that buys with that premium, you're going to mark single pay, uh, and then when you see that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that's where you're picking the, the uh, interest rate structure for the client, and then there's your health question. Um, the health question is pretty simple, it's going to cover the basics, it's a yes or no question, and then once you get that answered, you're going to move on to the signature, it's at the bottom of the page. Uh, you're going to sign it, you're going to put your agent number and uh, your signature on it. The next page is a receipt. So the client came in yesterday, she brought me the 14850. I just wrote the acknowledgement of payment receipt and gave that to her so that she would have it. And then the next one is the um, funeral trust. This tells them on there that once the policy is issued, 45 days after it is issued, it will be placed into the trust and it will be protected. Now, you will have cases where you're working with someone who you're trying to get this money excluded immediately, like the one I told you I'm working uh, with the son and daughter whose mom's in the assisted living. So if you look at the next page, or the bottom of that page, this is to be used for purposes of immediate Medicaid eligibility only. So with this particular client, we want that money protected right away. We're going to waive the 45-day right, and we're going to have them put that money into the trust immediately upon issue of the policy. So that's how that works. Um, here's uh, presenting the clients. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, this is where this is where the rubber meets the road. Um, you know, first thing I'd always encourage people to talk to their clients about is on an annual review. And here's what I say about that. If you're going out to deal with a, a, a client that you've had for a while, um, I always tell clients to, or advisors to start with this. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I've worked with you for 10 years. Would you agree that the advice I gave you has always been in your best interest? They're going to say yes if they're your client. At that point, you say, well, here's something that we haven't taken care of, but I think this is important to get done for you and your husband, so we're going to talk a little bit about this. 
then what you're going to do is you're going to present the funeral trust funding. You're going to stress that benefit of planning ahead. Um, you're going to tell them it can be used with any funeral home. And then here's what I'm seeing a big uptick in, and I think, Mark, it's from the training that we do, but we're seeing a lot more 1035 existing uh, life insurance policies being moved to National Guardian Life. And let me share with you why that's important. Most of your clients don't know that when they die and they own a, 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 an old whole life policy, that they don't get both the cash value and the death benefit. They only get one or the other. So a case we just worked on, client had $11,000 in cash value. They had a $12,000 death benefit. When I explained to them that $11,000 was their own money, and that the company was going to pay them a $12,000 death benefit, they quickly realized that they truly only had a $1,000 benefit from the company because the other $11,000 was their money. So what we did is we explained to them that if they 1035 exchange that money into the National Guardian Life, while they are losing $1,000 in death benefit, they are now protecting the $11,000 in cash value which if they don't do that and they go into nursing home care and have to apply for Medicaid, they're going to make them spend all that cash value down. So do you really want to risk $11,000 of your money to pick up an extra thousand or would you rather have it protected and have it growing at a, a guaranteed interest rate? So again, we've seen a big uptick in that, um, that kind of money coming in. So it's a good time if you have clients who have those old uh, life insurance policies, take out your iPhone, turn the speaker on, call the company direct when you're with the comp when you're with the client, get the updated numbers and show them how it can be a value of them to transfer that money out of there. And then again, uh, at the end of the day, we get paid to close the sale. So once you've you've got this process down, you're going to give that client the peace of mind of knowing they've got their affairs in order. You're going to close the sale. Uh, get the application sent into National Guardian Life. Now, one of the nice things about National Guardian Life that I'll share with you is their submission to commission process. Um, the lady I just wrote the application on yesterday, we sent that application out yesterday. Monday, that commission will be in our checking account. Um, it's a very streamlined process, and it works. So where do we find the money? Um, you know, if you ask the right question, and one of the things I will say to you that we always ask our clients is, uh, you know, have you prepaid your funeral? It's a simple question. Have you prepaid your funeral? If they tell you no, then what they've basically said is, no, I haven't, and tell me more about what, what I can do to get that done. Because there's really only a couple different options, either going to the funeral home, or using the plan that we have. So the money they're going to tell when they say that they haven't prepaid prepaid their funeral, the next question is, well, where what what's your plans to to pay for that funeral? Well, I have a ten thousand dollar CD set aside that my kids know, or I have a money market account or other insurance, which we talked about the ten thirty five exchange. Um, I'm going to have them pay for it out of my annuity or my investment account. So you're going to hear the answer to that. If they tell you it's in the bank, what a great story. I know you're not making any interest on your money at the bank, and your money is 100% at risk if you go in a nursing home and have to go on to Medicaid. They're going to make you spend it. If you have annuities and you're an annuity producer, um, most of the annuities out there um, you, is, I call it dead money because you wrote the annuity, you got an upfront commission, and now that money's just sitting there. What a great time to take a, talk about taking a penalty-free withdrawal from the annuity to fund their, their funeral expense trust. In the training, I'll go over with you how you get right by the, the subject of, oh, I'm going to have to pay taxes on that money that I take out of the annuity. It's very simple. Uh, we do it all the time. So we already know that the clients have the, the money to do it. It's not new money. We just got to figure out what their plan is and show them how ours is superior uh, to what they might think they're going to accomplish. So the next thing we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about the marketing brochures. Now, the nice thing with National Guardian Life, the two brochures that we use here, we're going to use either the Funeral Expense Trust on the left or the Estate Planning Trust on the right. And if you get 
um, licensed and you go onto the website at National Guardian Life, you can actually order these brochures with your company information on them and your company logo. And then you know it's always I don't you know, I don't know who your local physician is, but these are great leave behinds or you know give it to the client at the time of the sale. But it gets your name out there. Um, we do get calls off of it, and we have written business off just leaving them at places like senior centers and doctors' offices. So National Guardian Life has over a hundred years of, of experience in, in the uh, financial service industry. Um, they're uh, A minus excellent rated um, by the Better Business Bureau, uh, or by the Better Business Bureau. I'm sorry, by AMS. Um, so you're dealing with a very good company. Um, the next page uh, that we're going to look at, this is their website. This is not the website you will see if you become licensed. Um, you will have the agent website, which I can tell you, once you get on there and you can go through, they've got everything from um, uh, client presentations on PowerPoint to other marketing pieces to really help you get your name out there and let people know uh, how you can serve them with this product. So why sell the product? Well, if you know, we showed you the stats. Is if everyone's thinking about it and they're not doing it, what an excellent opportunity for you. Um, the income opportunity, what we're going to talk about here in a minute, is uh, can be substantial. Um, and again, the trusts are free, so there's no fees. There's no other professionals advising your clients on this. I have not. I, I can tell you, I've been in this 12 years. I've never went into a house and talked about this where someone has said to me, "Oh yeah, I had another guy talk to me about that." Um, so it's a niche product. Um, it's backed by a hundred and now 105 year old company with uh, a lot of assets behind it. You're going to give the clients the peace of mind of knowing they've got their affairs in order. And again, the paperwork process is very simple. So let's talk a little bit about compensation with the product. So I just assume that you're writing uh, 20 couples a year, you're picking up $10,000 of premium, so uh, you know, you're taking two months off. So you're doing all this in 10 month period. Um, it'll add a minimum of $40,000 to your annual bottom line. Now, I've always been a forward thinker, and I'm going to mention this this Department of Labor ruling that's lingering out there. And I'm sure if you're an annuity producer, it's something that you've you're reading about every day and trying to figure out how it's going to impact your business. Um, you know, this is a program that you could literally ramp up your production and get that number up to the sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar range pretty easily. Um, and that will take some of the stress off of you as you're trying to figure out moving forward uh, how this really might impact your business. But it's better to get started now, regardless of if, uh, what happens with this ruling, because your worst case scenario is the ruling goes through and now you've got a plan or it doesn't go through, we continue the annuity businesses as we normally do, and now you've still added an extra you know, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 to your bottom line. So some of um, here's the commission structure because uh, everybody always asks us about this. So if you look up there uh, on the face amount of uh, zero to sixty thousand, and I'm showing a growth rate of two percent, and I will tell you on this commission schedule because um, I'm looking at that zero to forty, uh, they've actually lowered commissions about seventy-five basis points. So that's really going to be about nineteen and a quarter. Uh, but if you go down to the market we work in, uh, let's say 66 to 70 year old, um, you know that's going to be around an 11% commission. Um, where else today can you make 11% commission um, on a on a program to help somebody uh, that's as easy as they've made this for us to use? Now, when you do get licensed, um, uh, just to talk about the commission one second, when you do get licensed, IMS will provide you with the schedule of all the interest rates you can offer. And obviously, the lower interest rate, uh, you know, the higher the commission. Um, however, you set your practice up, that's up to you. Uh, but some of the biggest challenges is getting comfortable with the concept. Uh, you know, when I first started selling annuities in 1993, I was scared to death. 
but now today I think I could teach a class on it because I'm comfortable I understand it um, I know how to present it so you're gonna have to learn how to present this and then keep it on the top of your mind you know every client every day real simple question have you prepaid your funeral we can move through this National Guardian Life does have a guaranteed uh, issue program that we have seen some uh, some production going through them so you'll definitely want to look at that if you're in that marketplace uh, but here's a, a guide for beneficiaries now I created this guide about five six years ago now and the reason that we did it is we wanted to have something that we could leave for our clients so we created a beneficiary guide and what that allowed us to do is to take this out to every client and in the process update all their financial information for them and what was amazing is you know you think you know your client you think you know everything they have man I'm gonna tell you what they don't always tell you everything because as we were going through this process with all of our clients we ended up picking up an additional 1.5 million dollars in annuity premium we picked up a couple hundred thousand in, sing in single premium life and countless deals we picked up into the National Guardian life so again you know practice makes perfect you gotta get comfortable with it and implement it into your practice daily so here's what the guide for beneficiaries looks like for ours um, it has our company name on there the reason we did this is we wanted to make sure if somebody passed away in that house that we were the people they called because as you all know when someone passes away in a home if it's one of your clients a lot of times there's another opportunity to work with new money um, maybe meet the kids and bring the kids on as as clients and we wanted to make sure that we weren't missing out on that going to the bank or to the broker and this has served us well we get um, I don't know what the number is but we get at least you know one or two calls every couple months from clients who have passed away and the beneficiary is is calling us because of this guide so what will happen with this guide is if you become licensed with National Guardian Life once you're licensed I'm available to you so that you can personalize it for your organization and if you want to start using it you can certainly do that it's again it's worked out well for us um, this is the personal and financial organizer that we use with the guide again it's it's very detailed um, and it, it it opens people up because as you get back through the guide you're going to be asking them again about all of the assets and you'll find that there's assets that you missed that were in the house uh, but the important thing for today's conversation is if you'll look at question eight on the guide you're gonna see it says right there have you prepaid your funeral yes or no you know we don't stop there and start talking about the funeral trust uh, if they tell us no uh, but we definitely know that that's going to be a topic of conversation that we're going to talk about pretty quickly once we get this done for them so that being said um, that's the that's the overview of what we do and how we do it um, any questions that anybody has I think Mark's got it set up so that you can ask those questions I'll answer them to the best of my ability and I certainly appreciate everybody's attention this morning so yeah John we do have a question uh, John asks which of the two products is mostly sold by you uh, I would say the the most sold is the funeral trust um, because that is more of an immediate people understand that uh, you know hey if I pass away I need that money there and I want to protect it immediately from Medicaid um, so I would say the the majority would be that but we do sell the estate planning trust as well okay uh, I just put a poll out there real quick actually not so much of a poll as it is uh, just seeing if you want to get appointed with National Guardian and if you do, what will happen is you will get an invitation for us for the webinar that we have scheduled here. That would be a week from Monday. And this is going to be for appointed agents. So if you want to get appointed, we'll send you a special invitation. Uh, let's see. And a question from Stacy: Do you have this presentation as a PDF? Uh, the one that I just did, I think, Mark, you that'll be, uh, I think you said you put it out there, right, on a 
you record it. So yeah. I guess the answer would be yes. Yes. And then there is a presentation as well on this, uh, which we can provide to, as John had mentioned earlier. So there is a sales presentation that you can take out uh, to your prospects and clients as well. Yes. And let's see. So let's see. Arlen asks, is the product approved in Florida? So in Florida, because I have a good friend of mine down there who uh, uh, is in this business, the, uh, the funeral trust is not, but the estate planning trust is. And since you can put zero to $100,000 in there, um, it wouldn't be for somebody who is trying to apply for Medicaid, obviously, because it's not going to exclude it immediately. But if you have younger clients or older clients that are in good health, um, you know, you could still use that. It'll it'll accomplish the same purpose. It's just a five year uh, look back before that money is excluded uh, for Medicaid spend down. And then someone asks, is it approved in New York and New Jersey? It's in New Jersey, but not in New York. Uh, it is in Texas. Yes. And what we'll do too here, as well as at the end of the webinar, what we'll do is we'll give you a call. And we can certainly talk about if there's anything unique as far as what your state uh, will provide. For example, Illinois is based on the county. You can put up to 15000 in some counties, less in others. So uh, definitely expect a phone call from us. What we'll do is uh, make sure if you have any questions on the product or the contracting or your state. So we'll, we'll address those issues one-on-one. -on -one. Um, let's see. Got a fairly lengthy question here, John, so I'm going to go through this. Could you please go over again the concept that um, you don't, on the life insurance, that you don't get both the death benefit and the cash value from a whole life insurance plan, thus explaining uh, funding with the 1035 exchange? Sure. Um, and again, we'll go into that in more depth on the 18th, but just kind of an overview on it. Uh, a lot of these older policies, and we'll just call them paid up policies. Um, what happens is the, the the people quit paying the premium, but maybe the dividends keep paying into the cash value. So if you own them long enough, you know, I'm talking about somebody that's been in one for 25 years, 30 years, what ends up happening is that cash value can end up approaching the same value as the death benefit payout. So if you have a policy that has 11000 in cash value and a $12,000 death benefit, when you die, the insurance company is going to pay $12,000. That's the death benefit. Well, in, if you were to get sick and go in a nursing home and need Medicaid spend down, that cash value, the 11000 is a countable asset. So they're going to make you spend the cash value. And if you spend the cash value down, you could lose the whole value of the life insurance policy. So our, our concept is take the 11000 1035 exchange it into the estate or to the funeral trust um, and protected the cash value of the policy from a Medicaid spend down. Okay. Any other questions at this time? Go ahead and put those in the question box. Might as well take advantage of John while we've got him on the line here. So um, the other thing while you're you're thinking of some different questions, I'm going to throw something out to you real quick here that some of you may not know uh, as it pertains to our webinars. But if you're not getting invitations to the many webinars that we have, what you can do is you can go to our website, which is www.iamsinc.com. And at the bottom of the page there, you'll see webinars, monthly webinars. You can just click on that. Uh, you can register for any one of those webinars that are that are out there, or you can set yourself up to where you can get invitations for every single webinar that we host. And then, of course, that makes it easier for you to get a copy of it as well. So, But uh, certainly keep that in mind. If you're curious about what webinars we've got going each day, we do have a calendar designated specifically for the upcoming webinar events. John, looks like the question box is empty. So... I want to, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us with this webinar this morning. Well, that's not a problem. And, and one thing before I depart today, I'd just like to say um, I've been doing business with uh, IMS for going on 12 years now. 
Uh, if you're not doing business with them, and, and this isn't a, a paid advertisement, this is just an advisor in Columbus, Ohio doing business, um, you will never be disappointed in doing business with them. They always make you feel like you're the only one that they're uh, working with at the moment that you need help. So uh, there's nothing in that for me, but they've been a great group. I've grown my tr practice tremendously and appreciate everything that they've done for me. Uh, so I just wanted to toss that out there to everybody. Well, thanks for the kind words, John. And um, thank you again, all of you, for taking time out of your day to learn about this important product. And uh, again, once we get that contract set up for you, we will send you out an invitation for our next webinar, which is the sales presentation webinar. So again, thank you all. We'll be in touch with you here within the next few days. And if you have any questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-255-5055. Have yourself a great weekend. Look forward to talking to you all soon.